Once again, you're watching Explodey FPS, and it's your host, Syra here. Today's video is all about WSA. That's Windows Subsystem for Android. This method is completely manual, and honestly, it's exactly how I run Android apps on my PC without any lag or issues. If you're interested, you can follow along with this video. Just make sure you don't skip any steps. So first of all, open any browser you prefer. I personally recommend opening Google by typing google.com into the search bar. The reason I'm saying this is because many people watching might be new to this kind of stuff, and I want you to see the same results as I do when searching for WSA download. All right, now scroll down a little. And for me, the third result says mustard chef slash WSA builds. It's a GitHub link. Go ahead and click on that. Now you'll be on the GitHub page. Scroll down. Here, you'll see different versions of WSA available for different operating systems. Quick note here. If you're using a PC with an Intel or AMD chip, always go with Windows 11 x64. But if you're on a Mac with M1, M2, or newer chips using virtualization software like Parallels, then go for Windows 11 ARM64. All right, I'll go ahead and select Windows 11 x64. Just click on it, it'll take you to a new page. Now, don't get overwhelmed. I know GitHub can feel a bit intimidating or confusing, especially for non-tech users, but trust me, it's not that difficult. Just scroll down and look for the section that says difference between versions in this release. Personally, I'm looking for a version that doesn't include the Amazon App Store, comes with the Google Play Store and Google services, includes kernel issue, optional for power users. You can pick your own based on what you need. It's not complicated or just follow the same one I'm using if you're unsure. Okay, here's the one I'm choosing. Hmm, let me count. Yep, it's the fifth one on the list. Now scroll down and click on the fifth file. It's around 637 megabytes in size. Let it download first. All right, our file has finished downloading. Now this file is in a .7z format. You can extract it using any zip tool or WinRayR. I'm going to use WinRayR to extract it into the same folder with the same name. This should only take a few seconds, depending on your PC's performance. Once it's extracted, open the folder, and inside, find the install.bat file. Just double click on it to start the installation process. It will open PowerShell to install it. First, it'll enable the Windows optional feature, Virtual Machine Platform. Then it will ask you to restart your PC once. I'm pausing my recording here, but you can go ahead and press Y on your keyboard, then hit enter. Once that's done, it'll ask you to confirm again. Are you sure you want to perform this action? Press Y again and hit enter. The system will reboot, update the service, and automatically bring you back to Windows. You may need to log in with your password if you have one set. Now, once you're back, open the folder where you extracted the file and launch the install.bat file again to continue the installation. A user account control prompt will pop up, so just click yes. After a short wait, it'll finish installing. A prompt will appear asking you if you want to share optional diagnostic data with Windows. This is basically for improving your experience, but you can uncheck share my diagnostic data and click continue. Now your subsystem is starting up. By the way, the GitHub page where you downloaded the build also shows you how to sideload kernel su manager.apk if you're interested in that. It's easy, but I won't go into detail on it in this video. Finally, the subsystem will be up and running. It doesn't have an Android-like interface, but you can go to the apps section, launch the subsystem, and use whatever apps you want. Just a heads up, it will ask for permission to access the microphone, webcam, and other features. Make sure to read carefully and click yes to allow them. Once everything's set up, the Play Store will pop up automatically. Now, just sign in, download your favorite apps or games, and enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.